All right, guys. So this is one to you, what you you wanna do before installing the kit like that in your um, turn signal. So I won't go into details into how uh, you can remove that and how you can open that because it's already uh, well explained in um, in an article in a knowledge ba knowledge base on the forum. So I won't I won't cover that here. Um, so let's go. This thing is already assembled. Obviously, uh, um, the lenses are uh, clipped in the um, in the shell. So you want to remove that, and you will see here. I will turn down, turn off the light. Here, you can see three uh, um, locating uh, tabs or whatever. So you will find. Uh, some melted plastic on top of that. You have to cut carefully with a knife um, and then you can easily kind of easily remove the board from the assembly. So now I'm going to power that again. What you want to do is to identify which um, which white wire here is the plus, uh, the positive wire and the negative wire. So get a grab, um, grab your voltmeter and simply put the leads on here. So we have a positive voltage right here. So it means that this wire here is a positive one and this one is a negative. I only have a black marker so I'm only going to mark the negative one. So again just to be sure okay so we have a positive here and here obviously we would have a negative voltage okay so the negative is down there let's do that and now you know what wire is positive and what wire is negative if you have a red marker you want to you might want to mark the positive uh, wire it's not mandatory but it's recommended just for good uh, practice so then you need to remove the board so I'm going to shut it off um, I, what I have here is a um, wireless solder iron but you can use whatever you have uh, here we go and that one Okay, so we have identified the negative and the positive. Good. So let's put it aside. Now, let's talk about the kit in itself. So it's basically some. Yeah, that's it. So you should have um, some marks on the boards already written by me. The top board is DRL um, PCB, and the bottom one has the amber light for the turn signals. So the negative, the, there is a, a bridge between the two boards here at the negative terminal. Um, the ground or the negative terminal is common between the two boards. Only the plus is different. So the, you, what you want to do is uh, you, you want to solder the wires from the from here to to the boards. So if you have DRL, if you have the DRL option, you want to solder the negative wire here. Um, it's out of focus, but yeah, it's there. You want to you, you want to solder that uh, wire to here or down here. Just be very careful not to short the components down there. The, you can't really see that, but yeah, the, the back thing here. You don't want to short that uh, with the negative. And then you want to solder the positive wire down there at the lower uh, on the lower board here in the at the positive terminal here this is only the plus uh, for the GRL board only one important thing is um, one thing that you want to look for uh, is this here 
this uh, glass tube is what uh, will trigger the um, learning mechanism and you want to be very careful not to break that. Um, also one important thing, you don't want to solder anything um, on that side when you see the where you see the microcontroller, the AT tiny, you don't want to solder anything here or here or anything around it. Everything that you have to solder is right there. Oh, and there's something that I just forgot. If you don't have the DR version, if you only have the turn signal option, then you will have that kind of board. Of course, this one is um, not uh, assembled. But it's basically the same, so you would have here the positive and here the negative terminal. Just like on this board, it's it's all the same. I mean, kind of the same. Now I want to show you how the learning feature works. We can, uh, we'll be using this kind of magnet out of a hard drive. So I connected the board, only the only the, um, the turn signal board, uh, so uh, only the lower one. I have here a relay connected to an, to an Arduino, just to it's only to um, to make, as you can see here, uh, the the yellow LED is uh, blinking. It's just to mimic the um, turn signal relay in the car. So here we go. Okay, that's um, how it's supposed. Uh, how it is supposed to act without the GRL um, powered or without the GRL board, obviously. So if you approach a, re, um, a magnet, as you can see, only the first one and the last, uh, only the first and the last LEDs are um, turning on. And now, if you remove the relay, the sorry, the the magnet, it resumes uh, working normally. So you, you want to use a magnet every time you change your relay, or if the timing gets wrong for um, one reason or another, the timing is stored in the in the chip down there, not this one, but the lower one, and it should not. Uh, lose its timing, but it might for some reason. So, yeah, so again, okay. So, meanwhile, I will be powering the DRL board while the um, turn signal are working. You don't want to do what I'm doing here. Connecting wires, uh, live wires to the board isn't something you want to do. So now, if we remove the power from the relay, yeah, there we go. So that's the GRL working. And as soon as the turn signals turn on again, the GRL stop. And then when when it stops turning, one second after that, or uh, I think. It's one second and a half. I don't remember exactly how I, I programmed them, but uh, yeah. Anyway, after uh, powering up the the turn signals, the DRL should light up again. Now let's assemble that all together. <coughs> so I'm going to use the the shell as. Um, some kind of stand, so yeah. You, uh, I designed the um, the boards with the same um, with the same holes as the OEM one. So you you, you can basically put that back and uh, fit it down down there. It's difficult to see what the tabs are because I am. The, the top board is uh, kind of in the way, <laughs> as you can see. So now, it's up to you. Uh, uh, you, I think it's easier to start with the negative wire here. So as you can see, right there, 
uh, that's the, um, the black mark so you can simply put that here okay come on warm up okay so on the DRL board you won't be able to solder the to, to, to fit the wire in the hole so you can simply um, solder the wire to the top uh, at the top of the sorry I'm kind of I'm in the way here uh, let's see can you see that uh, focus okay I'm going to add some solder. Okay. I hope you can see that guys on the on the video. Okay, there we go. So obviously you don't want to 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 solder the positive wire on the top board, so um, you want to remove it the wire in the hole on the lower board uh, can you see that yeah I think you can okay so with that solder on there okay we can um, let's see if we can see if we can uh, have a look at how it's going to work that's it i wonder how it's going to look like with the the clear lenses down there um well uh, i'm sorry guys i don't know where i uh, put those um, clear uh, lenses <laughs> i'm so sorry because i have never tested them actually and i was well kind of excited to 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 see to see th to see that for the first time with you but um, Sorry, I can't. So I'm just going to simulate that with uh, with remo uh, uh, removing the orange lenses. So here we go. For the DRL. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. Just let's um, run it like this for a while, uh, not at full power, and turn the the turn signals on. Here we go. Now I'm going to, to crank the voltage up to 14 volts, which would be uh, what the board should see in real life on the car. Yeah, 14.2 volts. That's really, really bright. Great. <laughs> Really great. It's awesome. So again, uh, yes, yeah, something else that I wanted to show you guys. You don't have to um, to remove. Uh, the assembly from the car to program it. You simply have to place the magnet on top here, and it works. You don't have to take it on to, to, to take it all apart. So, yeah, that's uh, okay. Let's lower on the voltage so we can actually see and something. Uh, you don't want to touch the board with the magnet, so yeah, I understand your point. I mean, you you might want to to test um, the whole thing before 
gluing back the um, uh, the assembly together so yes that's perfectly fine but I what you can do uh, in this case is simply put the magnet um, under the assembly uh, under the shell right there and you, you really don't want to shot anything on the board because um, there is no voltage protection, there is no reverse polarity protection. I mean, as, as you can see, there is not much room in there. So, I w basically, I um, I wanted to add some kind of protection, but <laughs> I, I just can't because of the room. Uh, here we, this is blocking me. I can't um, push that back. Uh, um, I uh, I can't fit the lenses back because the the black uh, connectors is uh, pushing it up. But yeah, just to see you guys. I think it will it will look awesome with the clear lenses. <laughs> can't wait. So um, when you have the, the wires soldered, soldered to, uh, to the board, um, you will want to glue the assembly back on the shell. I do not recommend using silicone, on, uh, silicone or um, uh, cyano glue because the vapors might damage either the lenses or um, the tin and the, and the copper on the boards. I would suggest using an epoxy glue. When you want to glue the board in the shell, you want to put some 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 glue here on the, on the three tabs, and then push. Uh, come on. You want to line the board. Yeah, here we go. You want to align the board, and you want to press on. You want to press on the on two adjacent um, amber LEDs. Don't push on the top board. So the first one, the first step is 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 in. Then the second one, and the third one. You might want to add some glue. And if you want to do that, I think yes. I think the best way to do that is to. Uh, is to to add the glue beforehand, right there. You can uh, you can put some glue down there, but I don't know if it will be very easy to do or removable afterwards. You can also put some glue down there if you if you look carefully here. You can see. Come on, focus. There we go. You can see that uh, here and up here, down there, there, um, you have some kind of, uh, I don't know, support or reinforcement. You you might want to, um, to also apply some glue down there. That would make six, uh, six more, more, um, uh, I don't know how to call that. Sorry, my English is not <laughs> used to be better than that. So yeah, that's basically it. And yeah, one more thing. For the DRL, you want to run the wire in the in the grommet down there. So you have you will have to to make some hole. I don't know how you can do that, but uh, I guess with some patience you might able to do it you can also um, uh, you can also drill the shell I think down there is would be a good idea and and then seal the assembly back with some uh, with with some epoxy and yeah that's it